I've had I had Parkinson diagnosed uh, three and a half years ago, and I was having tremors that kind of stopped me from doing what I wanted to do. And we felt that Steve would be a very good candidate for deep brain stimulation therapy because the problematic signs and symptoms that he was experiencing as a result of his Parkinson's uh, were very well controlled, or we know them to be very well controlled with deep brain stimulation therapy. As I thought about it more, when, I first, when they first mentioned it, I thought, no way am I going to go through that, somebody drilling holes in my head. And I, but the longer I had it and uh, the more the medication I was on was starting to give me some side effects. And um, the surgery, uh, as um, we made Steve aware, was uh, going to consist of three parts. The first part was when he came in and we implanted four small screws into his skull while he was asleep and did a high quality CT scan and an MRI, which we then used to plan where the wires needed to go. Uh, we brought him back uh, a week later for the actual wire implantation into his brain. And uh, for this, we needed Steve to be awake and cooperative and he did a phenomenal job. Once we had everything set up for him uh, and the wires uh, were ready to be implanted, he um, allowed us to record his brain activity. He interacted with myself and Dr. Shriram in the OR so we could not only map out his brain function but also test different areas to make sure that we were leaving the wires in the place where they would give him the maximum benefit and the least amount of side effects. So the third surgery is where we hook up the brain leads to an extension wire that's tunneled uh, under the scalp, behind the ear, and down the neck, and is then hooked up to a generator that sits under the collarbone. So the generator is, a, is the power source where the electric current can then run into the brain leads and stimulate the areas that we want it to. He wanted to control his tremor. He wanted to get his life back. He wanted to get rid of some of those pesky medication-related side effects so he could go back to doing what he loved. And we're, we're very happy we could help him do that. To me, it's just been a real blessing from God to go through the surgery and and see the results that I've already seen. So I think it's absolutely amazing. I just it's just hard to believe that they can turn you on and off like a light switch. <laughs>